What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we're back with another video for all of you today. And it's another Market Day Tuesday video. As per usual, drop 10K in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance of winning 10K. All you gotta do is drop 10K in the comments or anything you want in the comments, questions, whatever. You will qualify. Just drop the like, drop the sub. We're posting every day, we're posting that fire. We got two videos for today. You know, we're streaming, we're doing all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. A nice little market talk Tuesday video for all you guys. You guys showed me great support on the first episode. So why not come out with another banger and drop a second episode for you? So let's get into it. This series, all we do is just talk about the market, what's going to go down later in the week, investments, all that stuff, whatever, how to make stubs, everything, pretty much everything stub wise, I guess you could say. Okay. So if you watch my aftermath of the market crash, it went solid, okay? I made 60k stubs. And Market Talk Tuesday, it's pretty much just going to tell you, like, what's going to go down Friday. What you should do, what you should do, what you should do on Friday. So Friday, you pretty much have to just get ready for Friday. That's all I have to say. Friday is the biggest day in this game. They drop big content on Friday every single week. So we got to stay prepared for that. So what I'm going to tell you to do is, so... Let's just take a look at my team and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with my team because it's very expensive. So I'm going to go to my team. I'm going to show you. We got, we did the third inning collection. So doing the third inning collection is not going to get me mad stubs. It's going to make me, it's going to just by grinding the game, you're going to get another player from the third inning collection that drops. So right there, I'm going to be grinding. I have Miggy, Vlad, and I have Bumgarner already on my team. Not only that, these players, not do I keep them, but I'm going to make a ton of stubs off them, guys. I'm going to make a bunch of stubs off them because when you, let's say you're one of the first players in the world to complete the third inning collection, those cards in the beginning, the one you choose, they drop three cards like usual. The one card you choose is going to be through, uh, probably 200k. So when they, when they drop the set, get on the game. If you're young and you don't have work like me, go, like I have work, but if you're young, and you're not doing anything with your life. You're an MLB grinder. Grind the game as much as you can. Do all the new conquests and stuff. You'll make a ton of stubs. Just do this set. It's not that expensive. If you've been playing since the beginning of... Um, if you've been playing since, what, the beginning of MLB, you should have way over 100k stubs by now. If you make 5k stubs a day, you'll have way over 100k stubs. In a month, you should have a minimum of 100k stubs. So... That's awesome. That is going to go down Friday, I think. I think they're dropping it Friday. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Let's see. What, when is it coming out? We got second inning content, 5, 10, more moments, more program stars. That passed. I'm stupid. Oh, third inning program, 517. So that is Friday. So Friday is a big day. They're dropping headliners, roster update, new inning program. Okay. So let's get into it. Market Talk Tuesday. What I'm going to tell you to do. Okay, so this is the time to buy cards. I would say, I mean, especially if they're edges down, that's all I have to really say to you. So buy your cards. What I'm going to do is Friday or late Thursday night before the roster update drops, okay? Let's say Friday between 2 and, un okay, Thursday night about 8, Friday, so between Thursday night at 8, and between Friday at 12, at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So between that time period, I would suggest for you guys to sell your cards, okay? Why do I say that? This is where the market gets sort of freaking crazy because all everybody's investments, all their golds, their bronzes, their silvers, they're going to be at their peak price, okay? So for instance, I have a perfect example. Cody Bellinger, when he was gold, before he turned diamond, about two hours before he turned diamond, his price was at like 18k. That is absurd. His price when he became diamond dropped to 12, 10k. So okay. For instance, so let's just go over this. If you have all your investments, like I have a million Matt Chapmans, I have a million Char Stories, I have a million Bowers. I'm gonna go over to them. I'm gonna show you what you should do. I'm gonna go over more on Friday before the market update, but we're, I'm gonna show you. So Matt Chapman is up a lot. I have nine of him. You're going to see throughout the throughout the week, he's going to keep rising, keep rising. He might get to like 8K. If you see him get to 8K on Friday, I'm going to go over more on Friday. I'm going to drop a video on Friday showing you what you should do. I'm going to sell all my investments. I don't care. Get rid of all your investments before the roster update comes. 
I'm telling you, I will show you on Friday what I'm talking about. You will make stubs. You will help you. You're, you will make a ton of stubs. I have like a mil. I probably have like 500k in investments. All my investments are getting sold around 12 p.m. Eastern Friday, or maybe Thursday night, whatever. Because you're gonna see their price is way too high to maintain. Even if they turn diamond, they're not gonna go up in value. Think about it. People have been investing into Matt Chapman's and stories forever. So what makes you think that? When they turn diamond, you don't think everybody's gonna go try to sell their cars and make a ton of stuff. It doesn't work like that. You gotta play, you gotta play outside the box. I've realized this and I wanna spread it to you guys. This is literally, it's gonna make you mad stubs. Believe me, it worked for me many times. Just listen to what I'm saying and you will make stubs. But get it out, get in the community, man. I'm showing you guys what to do, but let, let's keep going. So, okay, so not only Let's, let's also talk about this. So when you sell those cards, you're going to have a crap ton of stubs, okay? All your investments about, you're going to have a shit ton of stubs. If you listen to all my methods, you should have a bunch of stubs. So at about 3 o'clock Eastern, it is a boom. You're going to see the market go from 20K to 10K. It's probably going to be unbelievable. Think about it. The third inning set drops. New cards drop for that. We got let's just go over it we got the headliner packs we got the conquest we got all this new stuff coming to the game the market is gonna die it's just it's gonna die so when you sell all your investments at friday or thursday you're gonna go back on at 3 30 eastern and you're gonna pick up any card you want i recommend picking up like i mean mad stubs of vlad like honestly get higher name brand cards for instance okay we're gonna go over Degrom. Let's say Degrom's a good one. But uh, Yelich is a good one. Machado's a good one. Let's let's check Machado. I'm gonna tell you why Machado's a good one because he's the only diamond in the Padres set. So right now he's 52k, 46 sell. Do not buy him right now. You buy him when the market crashes. He's gonna go down to probably 40k. It's gonna be the best time to buy cards. It's gonna be the best time to buy cards. Sell before the roster updates. All your investments, sell them. I'm telling you, it's gonna work out. I'm gonna post another video about four hours before the roster update on how to prepare for this, what to do, how you're gonna make stubs, all that good stuff. Just stay tuned for that. So let's keep going. So all my bronze investments, I'm selling them. And even it even happened last week and there was no roster, roster update. So, okay, Hunter Dozier. Everyone knows this guy. He's been amazing. He's been unbelievable. He's 200 stubs. I told you guys to invest him at about 30 stubs. Right there, you're making mad stubs. I have 30. I should have picked up more. I have 30. Okay, whatever. But Friday, sell your bronzes. Sell your commons. Sell your Martin Perez's. Sell your Matt Sorokas. Sell all of them. It's going to work out. Buy them back when the market crashes. Believe me, even if they go up in overall, they crash in price. It's been happening this for months, bro. I've been paying attention to every single market crash. I know what I'm doing. I grind the auction. I know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't care if you guys say the market doesn't crash. It crashes. If you don't know, if you know what, if you do not know what a market crash is, you need to go back to school. I've took all career financial management classes. I took Wall Street. I took college law. I took all that stuff. You cannot tell me what a market crash is because it, it is clear that's what it is. But I'm sorry. I just had to put that out there. That was a rant. But okay, you're also probably going to see these these cards. Okay, you're going to see the Vlad go down. You're going to see the Miggy and the Bum go down. They're a little, they're okay. They're like 30K. They rose a lot because everyone's like, oh my God, I got to do the set. So everyone's trying to do the set right now and they're going up a little bit. 38K, he was like 30K about three days ago. So they're gonna go down. Um, let's keep going. Let's see. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just check. Okay. Another thing you guys should do. Actually, no. I'm gonna stay up for another video. But I don't know. I'll just say, Jose Barreos, guys, pick him up. If he pitches a gem today, he could go up like four overalls. I don't know if it's possible. He's six and one with like a two ERA. He's 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 in line for Cy Young. I mean, it's really early, but if you're watching this, pick up Barreos. I should say that for my other videos, but whatever. Let's look at Martin Perez. I told you guys to pick him up last week. Let's check it. Okay. Martin Perez. He's at 50 stubs. I got him for 9 stubs. So right there, I'm going to make profit. On Friday, you might see him at 100 stubs. If you see him at 100 stubs, you click that sell button. You sell him ASAP. You get rid of him. He's going to be... That's too expensive for a common. Even if he goes to a bronze, that's still pretty decently expensive. So yeah. If you guys understand what I'm saying... Just let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you guys like need any help with the auction, hit.
hit me up. I will answer. I answer everybody's questions, yo. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to become a community. I'm not like a guy who's just going to post videos and not answer. I want everyone to know I'm a community guy. I'm an MLB creator. I'm an MLB content creator that will help the community. I'm here to help you guys. Like, I want to help everybody. Just, just remember that. And guys, that's all I got for you today. Just be sure to drop comments. Ask me questions. Keep my mind running. That's all I got for you. Turn those post notifications. Drop a sub. If you are new, I'm doing this every day. I'm dropping videos every day. You know how it goes on the Bugs community. Let's go, Team Bugs. Run this up. Let's get 50 likes on this one. We'll give away 10K, maybe even 20K. I hope you guys had a good one. Peace out. Team Bug, let's go. Hey, yo,